Hi to everybody, I'm Caleb from CalebTempleman.com. I've tested positive to COVID-19. In this video, I'll be outlining my experience, what happened, my symptoms, hospital treatment here, and much, much more. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Notifications on, I'm gonna constantly update you folks regarding COVID situation, all of that. So, definitely stay tuned. So, for some background, Dad already had COVID-19. Um, I'm not exactly sure where he picked up COVID. I'm um, gonna bring from the shopping center or Anyway, he had COVID and he had some symptoms. Now, I started to develop some of the symptoms, such as, this will be Wednesday or Thursday of this week. Because today's Saturday when I'm recording this video. I had a sore throat, <coughs> a dry cough like you just heard, a headache, my headache was crazy yesterday. I had a headache, um, shortness of breath, tiredness. Like I mentioned, Dad got COVID prior. Could have been from a shopping center, I'm not sure. And as well, Zach has COVID as well. Um, now we're both vaccinated. Dad is fully vaccinated with AstraZeneca. Zach and I, we have one dose of Pfizer. We got that on the Wednesday, we got that last Wednesday. Um, something like that. Anyway, so Dad had the symptoms and all that. We could, and he was already isolating, so we were already isolating. And we did not know whether me and Zach were positive. New South Wales Health were gonna come out to the house Sorry about this, this shield is a bit fogging up. But anyway, New South Wales Health were gonna come out of the house to test all of us. They never, they never, I don't know why they never came out, they're probably very busy. Um, and then we got a call, because I think this was getting worse, we got a call. Dad was on the line at New South Wales Health and they advised we have to get hospital, get tested. Um, <coughs> get tested, then they had an ambulance come through um, at around 5 p.m. yesterday. So we got in the ambulance, we drove to Wollongong Hospital now. We <coughs> parked in the ambulance bay and um, we got a, a COVID rapid test, which just to clarify, these rapid tests are only 70% effective. For Zach, it came back positive, so we were in the ambulance at this point. For the rapid test, it came back positive for Zach. And then for me, it came back negative. I go, oh, you know, God, thank God, I'm negative. But they even go, look Caleb, even though this comp visit comes back negative, it's only 70% accurate. So there's still a 30% chance I've got COVID. Um, so it was negative for me, positive for Zach. However, because I've been a close contact to dad who's been positive and I've got to get my distance in the house, but <coughs> I was certain I had COVID. And they, they were thinking about sending me home, but then they thought to do the PCR test which is the one where it takes you out an hour to get your results. So I took the PCR test um, to be certain of whether I'm positive or not. So I took that test, then I had to wait around an hour for the nasal swab as well, guys, a nasal swab. And then I had to wait around an hour, an hour one and a half, because the rapid test is 10 minutes, but this one, <coughs> this one takes about an hour or an hour and a half, and that was one of the most intense, stressful times in my life. Um, not knowing what's going to happen, not knowing what the outcome's going to be if I was positive or being admitted like I am. Even if I'm negative, I don't know what would have happened there. Um, now, obviously here on the COVID ward, I'm in the bathroom at the moment. Um, so I, I, I can guess, I can see if I can go out to show you guys a bit of that. We've got doctors, we've got a, a glass door, we've got doctors right there that I'm not going to show. We've got dad behind me here. Um, and this is the setup at the moment. This is the bed. We've got dad obviously over there. And um, <coughs> now, how long I'm gonna be here, I've got no idea. And now dad, he doesn't have much symptoms. He had symptoms a lot when we were at home, but he doesn't have much symptoms though. Zach and I, we've got a lot more symptoms. <coughs> even my headache pounding, even speaking in this video. That, then again, in a sense, I really know as much as you views just like what's happening next waiting on doctors and just sitting here in the bed doing nothing much doing really whatever we can really and they've got TVs and stuff YouTube um, now there's not gonna be much videos for now while I'm on that I was <laughs> I wasn't gonna make this video today I was gonna wait but I thought you want to know what I might as well get a video up and just for context folks there's <coughs> there's not gonna be much videos on the channel and as of the live streams they're probably not gonna return for a while so you know, but that's the basics of my experience being up. And I want to give a shout out to the nurses, the doctors, all of those guys who are actually coming in right now. 
Um, you know, we've got nurses over the side and stuff. Really want to give a big shout out to those guys. But folks, wanted to set you guys' expectations here. You know, I done posts on social media on Saturday. Appreciate all of the feedback, all of the support, all of the uh, all of the all of the well wishes. So, other than that, folks, that is about it for this video. I appreciate appreciate you watching. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. Just got on lunch here, so um, we've got an, uh, I don't know what this is. Some kind of cake thing. Um, that's what we've got here. So I've just delivered lunch, and they're really good with deliver, delivering lunch and stuff. So. I'm going to go eat this for now, folks. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe. Notifications on. I'm going to go enjoy this food, guys. And see you next time, guys. Bye for now.